Hello, I'm back and this is Sochi and I'm tired because we've made a five hours trip on our feet and I forget to make an intro to this video so I'm making it right now and we're standing in front at the entrance to my favorite restaurant with the greatest skin color in the world and if you want a name of this restaurant take a look at the video I'll say it a few times That's the train station building and there's a few details that you should know about the transport in Sochi. I suppose you'll come to Sochi by the plane, but just in case if you'll arrive by the train or you'll stay in Sochi for some period of time and then you need to go on further to Emiritinka or to um, Krasnaya Poliana. And there, there is a bus stop. If you're going to Krasnaya Poliana, you need to... Uh, number 105 to uh, Meritim Nadler 124 and 125 but the thing is that there is a uh, additional letters such as C and P and that's for quick bus stops so that's the station again I'm getting closer and there is a big bus stop on the right side 105 is to uh, Rosa Hutor Krasnaya Poliana uh, for example and as you can see Number 55 is the quickest to get to uh, Ameritinka and there is a additional letter sometimes or just a table like straight Primoy or there can be letter S, C, P or A like this. That's what quick bus. All the other buses without letters will go for a very long distance. They will make uh, much more stops and we spend a lot of time. You don't want to do this, believe me. For example, like this. It's traveling, yeah, but 125p. And the Lastochka trains is also going from this one, from this station, so we can get to Krasnepolana, Emiritinka, or back here, or Tkosta. But for us today, we're going to this one, to the tunnel, underground tunnel, to have a little walk on Navagilska street. It's the main street in Sochi, main street for walking. So we've crossed the road, and now we are here moving to a Navaginske street it's like in our bar in Moscow man and I'll show you a cheapest cafe in Sochi cheapest and good I mean there is a lot of places where you can eat almost for free but I uh, can guarantee that you don't have any problems with your stomach if you know what I mean all the street is filled with the cafes and with the different shops there is Baskin Robbins McDonald's uh, well known in the world nets food nets food stores and of course the local places with uh, Hinkali, with uh, Hachapuri, remember that word, Hachapur, Hachapur, Hinkali, Hachapur, that what you should ask in the um, Georgian cafes and restaurants here. That's the only car that allows to drive on the street. Everybody else is on their feet. But if you're a kid, you're lucky you can get an electric car in drive uh, dun, 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 dun. Sochi is uh, also some uh, Russian people called like a southern capital third capital sometimes because Moscow St. Petersburg cultural and northern capital and Sochi southern capital and there's a uh, partisan don't mess with the Robert Partisan it's a canteen with wonderful food low price and don't forget if you want to save some money and but still get a wonderful meal that's a place for you you can see the people are coming in and it's located just in front of that Altrium MTS and megaphone and the corona oh corona is not a fancy word anymore sorry okay and Sochi you can cover everything here in five days uh, and I think one or two days you can spend in Sochi one day in the Meritinsky Kurort and a few days in Krasnaya at the mountains Okay, there's a main square, there's a fountain, tall buildings, trees, and Olympic rings. What can I say about Olympic rings? I think this is the only place in Sochi who does have some modifications to the Olympics, because most of the city remain the same. 
there is a pigeons and a sparrows and the gold man a waiting area there is a kid taking a piss in the bushes there is a tree a beautiful one and that's it oh my god this is the burattino well known in known in all the world like pinocchio pinocchio and the tortuga tortilla also fairy tales in russia are quite popular and you know them like pinocchio and tortilla oh i can smell i can smell the sea mm, wonderful wonderful taste of salt water oh and there is a gena and the chiburashka one of the places i think we're going to end our trip today at the place is a white nights belly noche restaurant with the best hinkali in the world but now we return right to the riviera so that's the place remember this one uh sochi is the city hospital during the world war ii because of the climate that's the end of the Navaginsk street that the road crossing in front embankment and a seaport on the left uh, i don't know we'll see it on the right riviera park so you're going on the on, on front or on the right we took a right side like all the other cities uh a resort city Sochi is offer you a lot of restaurants and money spending that's I mean the whole idea and that's uh, a character from Ivanushki International Band Aero Park is like in front in half a kilometer or so now you can count on all the distances in Sochi totally you can cover about five kilometers to make a whole trip on your feet and that's the wonderful bridge that brought us here to uh, Riviera Park it's just right there that's the entrance to the park and there's a Lenin hiding in the palms <laughs> the red chief um, so we're just kidding here it's just uh, the mosaic is red and there's a Lenin portrait such is wonderful city for tourism for a week or two you can come here if you have some money or friends or a sense of humor you will find yourself happy here we get into the park later uh, passing on this sculpture over there you can see it let's take a look is there anything interesting inside I've asked a gardener, this wonderful man, and he said that it, it's a dacha. It's just an outdoor house of the Hudikov, the guy who built this park Riviera. Originally it was made of a red brick, but later it's in 90s it's falling apart. And there is some secret person pay for the restoration and now he's using it for himself. So just somebody is living in here, like in his own house. And there is a sign that it's private territory please do not step in you can take a look by yourself wow hey, react react a little bit and there is a tall man there is a place where the monks and the sick people there are different theories different uh, explanations for that but the people get inside and get locked and within this hole they receive some food and water to keep themselves alive as long as they can but no disease spreading or no bad thinking so it's kind of a damp stone this is a little bit of russian folklore mr krylov who made a russian word basni but it's like small stories with a philosophy and that's a story about a, a crow with the cheese you can see the cheese in her uh, mouth okay and a fox so the fox was chibi, so he was trying to make everything happen for the crow to open her mouth and the cheese to fall down. And what the story ends, you can look for yourself, just to read it. There is a wonderful graffiti, gra you know graffiti? Graffiti. Graf graffiti. When the painters with the can and spraying the paint on the walls, psh, very beautiful uh, jobs I've seen here. So you can collect all of them okay try to do it i will show you one of them a little bit later there is the pirate ship and the attraction named the pirates of the caribbean sea yeah 
and the Johnny Depp is still on board. So there is dozens of interesting events for you here. So I don't, when I'm, when I'm planning to show you all of them. Uh, to be honest, I'm just saying that um, Riviera is definitely a park where you can step for a few hours, especially if you have kids with you. Then it's a necessary place for a visit and where I keep on walking and should move on further. Retro car exposition. And you can take a look at what type of cars is hidden inside. Now it's not working, I don't know why. I really would like to take a look at those BMW and 4T. But there is no 4T, but there is BMW. And, oh no, there is 4T, okay. The first car in the world, the first serious car in the world. I would like to take a look at next time. If, if this one would be open, I would step inside. Totally, we've counted about 45 or 50 different attractions. So you can spend a lot of time here and a lot of money. So don't forget to come go to Russia, come to Sochi, get to Riviera Park and we are moving on, getting to the exit. Okay, getting out, we're using this uh, underground uh, tunnel to get to the riverside straight away. So follow us. And we are on the bridge, on the second bridge across the river. And there is a seagulls. Don't forget to take some bread to have an attraction of flying seagulls and watch avoiding uh, hitting by a poo <coughs> sorry and that's the bridge to riviera and on this side we are heading to the um, embankment but we will do it on uh, on a specific way i want to show you around a little cafe my one of my favorites here uh, go to russia follow our channel subscribe our channel press the heart button activity i need your activity my friends right now do something well, after feeding the seagulls, as we recommend, you should walk this one, this road, this path to get straight to the sea. And we are heading right now, right there. We are still on the river, we are walking on the left shore, but if you will take right one, there will be the wonderful place to enjoy the sunset. Enjoy! We are going a little bit back, using this direction to get to this building with a pile, with a spike. It's a seaport. The most popular building in Sochi and the most familiar, I think, and most of the postcards, magnets and the pictures. And that's a restaurant for rich people, Marina Garan. After the marine, you will find yourself in front of that tower and there is an old bazaar restaurant. And the people say that it's quite good and not as expensive as everything else around here, but still expensive. And that's a Barcelona Barceloneta restaurant. It's a Catalanian kitchen. I've been in this restaurant once, quite expensive. No, thank you and I like being here. So we are here on a seaport and that's I think the main place for you to visit, especially at the night time where the lights turn down after the sunset it'll be look even better you can walk on the, on this side and turn on the left there and there will be the start of embankment from which you can turn also left after you're tired of walking get a little bit up on the hill and there will be a lot of restaurants so after you walk this road you'll get to this one kind of a tower and there you should turn left right here there's a turn over there on the hill <laughs> this one is the lighthouse and at night time it looks beautiful because it's green. Here we are, we came to the embankment. We'll take a sunset from here. We have 
opportunity to live an interesting life. So don't waste it. And this is the Jacquif Cousteau. And there is many more like this in Sochi. Try to find all of them. That now is your mission. And I won't tell you how many of those pictures, graffitis and the characters on those graffiti will be a secret for you as well. So Google, search, make pictures and enjoy yourself. So we decided to have a meal and I will show you around what it's looking like inside this Stalovaya canteen, Patterson. There's different soups, drinks, salads, for example, one dollar, one dollar, no, it's less than a dollar, 75 cents. So we can take the big plate or small one, it's up to you. So the food is good, I don't want to film you know, while we're eating, so just believe me. Two soups and a dessert and two drinks is... Uh, 2.8 dollars, less than 3 dollars for two person for a normal meal. Uh, while you're walking here on the embankment, uh, moved on further from the sea, just right on the after those buildings. Don't forget that there is uh, not many ways to get uh, upstairs. Ponka. So, for example, we are going to use those stairs to get up there and to walk on further so uh, no we use next one but those buildings is the is the right place for you to get up to get a white nights cafe let's do it punk is enjoying the view the picture getting worse because of the dark but we've made it the stairs and we're almost there the Pullman Hotel, the best one in Sochi, and right there, White Night. And there is a wonderful Sochi at daytime. Just walk around in front, forward and back, forward and back. That's the only way to enjoy this area. Now it's quite a hard for me to show you around here, but I will just make it within one building. And just believe me, that, is, that one is for you. So that's the search in the night time. Cozy, a lot of lights, quiet and calm. So we can walk around finding a restaurant for you. There is a place with a nice burgers right here. And that's just an example that there is also historical and uh, beautiful buildings and a lot of sculptures right here, <laughs> but you cannot see them. So please trust me and come here on your own at daytime. So that's the day we spend in Sochi. Five hours walking and technically we've seen everything we want to. And there is a Lenin hiding in the dark. I forget. My favorite restaurant in Sochi with uh, Himkali. A local food. Not local, but for Sochi it's kind of a local, you know. Yes, you know now. And this is a restaurant, Belly and Nochi. There is an address and this is a map. And now I will show you in a few seconds the entrance. We are finally here and this is it. Himkalna Beli Nochi and just for you to know, the entrance is over there where the girl is coming up on the left side and sometimes you have to stand in line because this place is so popular that you might not be able to take a seat. So uh, there is a, a phone in the internet, you can call and check it or even if you come then just uh, what time of waiting they will say like 20 minutes you said okay we will get back please let us know we'll go in a seaside the seaside is in front this was me and thanks for you go to russia subscribe our channel press the heart button and do all the necessary stuff for us to be in progress thank you see you around update update in white nights you can pay with cash or with the transfer no credit cards no credit cards okay cash or transfer